Hi, this is Galit Gopharb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you feel like a hero because today our quote of the day is, a hero is someone who has given his or her life to something bigger than oneself by Joseph Campbell. We all have the potential to be a hero in our world. In 1949, Joseph Campbell published his book, The Hero with a Thousand Faces, where he discusses his theory of the hero's journey, which he found to be shared by all mythologies. Campbell noticed that basically there is only one myth, a monomyth, so to speak, which was told over and over again with different characters and by different cultures, but all share the same great story, regardless of their origin or time of creation. The movie Star Wars, Harry Potter, The Matrix, Spider-Man, The Lion King, The Lord of the Rings, and Alice in Wonderland all follow this monomyth uh, theory. And if you examine your own life, you can see how you are also part of the hero's journey, your own hero's journey. The question is only whether you will finish the journey. Our lives have the potential to follow the hero's journey, leading us to become the hero of our lives and of our world. All heroes come from the ordinary world and move into the region of the supernatural by passing through great suffering. They reach an experience which they win victory over and then return to the ordinary world with the gifts that are powerful enough to improve the society and their world. Joseph Campbell says that we must be willing to get rid of the life we have planned so as to have the life that is waiting for us. We are all destined to do great things, but are we going to follow through with it? Are we willing to follow through with it? Well, according to Campbell, there are 17 stages to the hero's journey. If you look at your own life, at the challenges you have overcome and became stronger as a result of, so much so that you are now teaching what you have learned, then you can see how you have gone through all 17 steps of the hero's journey and have become a hero in that field. The question is whether you will go through all of the steps of the hero's journey to become the hero. Many people stop on their way or even never really start. So what about you? Let's quickly go over all of the 17 steps of the hero's journey so that you can examine where you currently are on, the, on this path and what you should do to complete the cycle, to complete the journey, and become a true hero of your world. So the first act is departure. This is basically a departure from what is known and what is familiar and what is comfortable. There can be no real revelation of our superpowers within us if we remain in our comfort zone. Every hero must learn to unleash the unknown within themselves. And to do this, the hero must leave their comfort zone. They must leave the place that is familiar to them. So the first act is a, called a call to adventure. When the person stumbles upon or learns some information which sets the stage for change. Here, the hero understands that they must do something or move somewhere different in order to make their dream come true. But as with all change, this move or action are not easy to take, and the change may trigger fear or a sense of obligation to where they currently are, or an insecurity, or even a sense of inadequacy. The second step of the hero's journey is a refusal of the call. The person tries to find ways to refuse the calling. They don't want to do, to, to do the change, but then life becomes really unbearable, meaningless, and totally intolerable. So they decide, even unconsciously, to go ahead with the challenge. And the next step is they meet their mentor. They meet someone who either becomes their mentor or offers them some kind of help advice or reassurance that they can go ahead with the challenge. The next step is the crossing of the first threshold. Here, the person actually takes a leap of faith and ventures into the unknown and perhaps a dangerous place where the rules and limits are different from what they, are, what they know and what they're used to. They need to take a risk and they need to adapt to the new rules fast and with competence. Through courage, this danger slowly subsides and they start living in this new realm. The next stage is called the belly of the whale. 
from the story of, of Jonah being swallowed by the whale. It represents a rebirth of the person and uh, a new commitment to their new challenge. In this stage, a person commits to the change that is needed to make their dream or vision come true. After undergoing some form of threat to their life, the person is now willing to undergo a personal metamorphosis to become a better version of themselves. So after the departure chapter comes the initiation chapter. They've survived the first major test. The person then meets a series of challenges called the road of trials. This is a series of tests that the hero must undergo to begin the transformation into the better version of themselves. The hero fails at some of these tests, but learns from them and becomes more connected to their true divine nature, which we all have within us. Here, the person will meet different allies and different enemies as well. They will also meet with some small victories, allowing them to gain small glimpses of that wonderland that awaits them and to gain uh, a higher self-esteem. In the next stage, they meet with the goddess. Here, at this stage, the person gets something that will be of value or help for them in the future. This may be an experience uh, or some kind of major love or uh, some money or important knowledge. And this is there to help them in that moment and in the future. The next step is confronting with temptations. Here, the hero meets physical temptations that are pleasurable. Here, they may feel some kind of success, which may lead them to stray away from their true pursuit or even abandon it altogether. Here, the person must transcend these temptations and continue on with their pursuit. The next stage of this journey is the atonement with the Father or the Abyss. Uh, in this stage, the person must confront and be initiated by whatever holds the ultimate power in their life, getting them closer to their goal, making them stronger. In this stage, the person may hit rock bottom or confront their greatest fear, and if they survive it, they will emerge transformed. This is when the person becomes a real hero. The next stage is called apotheosis. This is the summit. Here, a person achieves great realization and understanding. And with this new knowledge and new perception of life, the hero is ready to, to work a little more harder and continue on the path. The next stage is the ultimate boon, where the hero achieves their goals after going through all of those previous steps which served to purify and prepare them for this boon. This moves on to the next chapter. In the boon, they really get their goal. They get what they've always wanted. And this makes them very happy. And this moves us on to the next chapter, which is return. Now, many uh, people stop at this stage. They've achieved their goals. They've achieved success. And that's enough for them. But to become a real hero, they actually have become already a real hero. But to leave a legacy, you have to return. And in this chapter, it, it begins with the refusal to return. So as I said, the hero is enjoying their rewards and their good life and their bliss and even enlightenment. And they may not feel the urge or will to do anything more. They have become very comfortable and they don't want to initiate any change. But the hero feels deep inside them burdened at this stage. They know that they have to pass on what they have learned to others. And then comes the next stage, which is called the magic flight. Here, the hero must deal with one last obstacle to face before they can return home to ensure that the, the hero really has learned their lessons. In this final battle, the hero goes through one more resurrection. And this may be a near-death experience, a loss of money, a divorce, a health issue, or love, uh, a loss of love. This stage may leave the hero in a, a difficult position and uh, they are weakened. And then comes the next stage, which is the rescue from without. The hero may need some outside help because the hero has been wounded and weakened by the last experience in some way, either financially, physically, or mentally. And at this stage, they do get the help 
uh, from some guide or assistant or rescuer and that helps bring them back to life, to everyday life. And the next stage is the crossing of the return thre threshold. The hero then returns to the ordinary world with the wisdom they gained in, on their chaotic adventure. And they know how to integrate all of this knowledge that they gained in this chaotic adventure into their daily life. The hero is a different person than what they were when they started out. They've grown, they've matured, and as a result, they've become a different person. The next stage is mastering the two worlds. When the hero comes home, it's not easy for them to survive in the ordinary world again. It's not easy to adjust to the ordinary world after all they have been through in their chaotic adventure. But the hero achieves a balance between the material and spiritual worlds. And this makes him or her a master of the two worlds. They live in balance competently and want to pass this wisdom on to others. They have reached their peace. They have become very capable and resilient and they have learned many, many lessons and brought them where they are currently, which is in a very, very good place. Not many people reach this stage of their hero's journey. And the final step is the freedom to live. After all of the difficulties uh, on the many different planes, the hero no longer lives in fear, and this allows them to live in true freedom and do what they came here in the world to do. They have defeated different aspects of their character and are ready to pass this knowledge on, making them really immortal. Because when you pass on what you have learned to other people, they live on with it and pass it on, and then it never dies, and you actually never die. Any person seeking to, to achieve success in any field of life, whether career, health, relationships, or even weight loss, all go through the hero's journey. And only when you manage to balance the material and the spiritual worlds in this field and pass your knowledge on to other people, then you become a true legend. So see where you currently stand within the story of your hero's journey. Where do you think you are right now? Make sure you don't give up and keep on going. The universe has your back. And if you do what you came in this world to do, you will have so much to give back to society and to give back to your loved ones. You and all those around you will benefit in unimaginable ways. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself to make sure that you are living the life of your dreams and moving yourself forwards in the right direction for you. And the question of the day is, where am I on my hero's journey? This is the one question to ask yourself today. And when you can figure this out, do not fear what you still have to face before you. The way is never easy, but it is definitely worth it. As usual, I recommend writing the question and your answer down in a notebook, especially prepared for these coaching sessions so that you can look over them from time to time and see how you are moving your life to the best place possible for you. And the affirmation of the day to finish this video off with is step by step, I am becoming the hero of my life and of my world. Step by step, I am becoming the hero of my life and of my world. Now tell this to yourself as many times as you remember to do so today because an affirmation has the power to completely transform your life with repetition. So I hope just you like this video. I hope it was interesting for you and it is motivational and adds a lot of value to your life. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. And also please visit my website, thegorilladiet.com to help you move and advance your health and wellness to a better place for you. Thank you very much for joining.